Food continues to cost more, whether it's in restaurants, takeout, or in the comfort of your own home. I'm Eduardo Wijon Jr., your community reporter in San Luis Obispo, where the United States Department of Agriculture says that Americans are now spending 11.3 percent of their disposable income on food. It's disappointing and I just have to adjust to it. I feel like I'm, it's a little out of control. A lot of the times I'll just not buy it. I think that's usually the solution I come to. I'm a broke freshman in college and, you know, I, I feel like I'm spending way more. Community members and Cal Poly students tell me purchasing food at the grocery store has gotten quite expensive. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the average annual food at home prices were 5% higher in 2023 than in 2022. Some are adjusting to the price increase. I think I've given into it. I mean, it is what it is. I moved here from the Midwest and it was sticker shock back then. And I call it a luxury tax living here. <laughs> so I think things tend to be more expensive when you're living in the happiest place on earth. I definitely had have to make adjustments because some things are just too expensive. Um, maybe some meals that I used to routinely make are more of a special meal now. A couple of Cal Poly students I spoke with say they spend near or more than $40 when it comes to shopping on a budget. For one bag, I had produce and this drink. This and this is mine for 45 I try to always spend 40 or less because that's just like my budget range. Like, I don't want to go over that. Um, so I just get what that gets me. Constant says the high prices on certain items make it harder to shop at ease. It was definitely jarring how much I like wanted to get but couldn't get because of the price because I can't like afford as much as I would ideally like um, and I'm someone who likes fruits <laughs> and vegetables a lot and I don't get to have as much as I would like because it's more expensive. The USDA says that prices for beef and veal are predicted to experience the highest price growth of 5.8 percent this year. The cost of beef is like crazy high. I've noticed that. The Slow Food Bank says they are seeing an increase in demand due to the food prices increasing in the area. Is the Slow Food Bank seeing more of a demand from the public since the cost of food has increased over time? Absolutely. So even just in the past year, the Slow Food Bank has seen a 14% increase in the number of people that we're serving, which means that every month we're serving more than 36,000 people. To give you some context, in the height of the COVID pandemic, we were serving an average of 40,000 people a month. So that demand um, that we had hoped would subside has in fact turned back around and is increasing again. The Slow Food Bank offers assistance to individuals who are interested in applying for the CalFresh program, which helps many purchase healthy food by providing them with an EBT card that can be used in grocery stores and at some farmers markets. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Eduardo Wijon Jr., KSBY News.